A young man with blonde hair is standing behind the scenes. Listen to the shouts of the crowd. Someone addressed him as if he were a gentleman speaking. The man notified that he was escorting him to the stage. The blonde agreed, and they walked through the dark corridors. When they approached the exit point, the man in the cap said that he would put headphones on the artist, but the voice warned that there was one minute left before the performance. The guy was addressed by his name again, as if he were Park Monday, the voices urging him as there was one minute left before the start of the performance. The doors of the wings opened and the men announced that the performance was beginning. Adjusting the earpiece, the guy said that he was already coming. A greeting with the audience and the hope that they had been waiting for a long time swept through the microphone in all the halls. With a confident gait, Park stepped onto the stage towards the bright light. However, something made him look back. The red electronic scoreboard notified about the violation of the condition, and it was also written that if there was no opening, then death would take place. The guy stood confused under a bright red light. Screams of declarations of love were heard from the audience, as well as requests for the singer to look at one of the fans, but the loudest voices shouted the name of Park Monday. The guy continued to look at space in confusion, not understanding what was happening, in the darkness, the guy could only feel pain, so he said how much he had a headache. When he opened his eyes, he saw a ceiling with a window in a dark room. He couldn't remember what he'd done before, and his last memory was failing the exam and getting drunk. As he looked around the room, he couldn't figure out where he was, even though the interior looked like a motel. The hero wondered how a man who got drunk alone in his one-room apartment ended up in a motel. He got out of bed, and the only thing that worried him was dizziness and the desire to go to the toilet. Reaching the toilet, the guy assumed that after visiting it, he would definitely remember everything. One day, our hero opened his eyes and saw an unfamiliar ceiling. But in the usual order, he had to be at least in another world. Looking into the reflection of the mirror, an unfamiliar brown-haired man looked at the guy because he was absolutely not in the reflection. Surprise could be read on the face of the young man, who did not understand how this was possible. A piercing scream deafened the corridors of the apartment. In surprise, he fell to the floor and hit his back hard. The guy did not understand what this meant, because his body was unfamiliar to him. No matter how much he wanted to get into another world, it was not he who had changed. The only question that was in his head was what happened to his face. Afraid of the mirror, the guy did not believe that it could really be him. The night was in its deepest phase, and the full moon was shining in the sky. Trying to recover, the hero turned on the light and found the necessary medicines for a hangover. After what he saw, the young man was able to quickly come to his senses, but he did not know what to feel. For someone preparing for the civil service exam, this is equivalent to an ordinary breakfast but the hero believed that his life where he could not get a job was more legendary, the guy decided that first he needed to calm down and assess the situation. In addition to medicines, there was a note on the bed, which drew the hero's attention. When he woke up, he found a farewell letter and an empty jar of pills, which meant one thing, that the owner of this body had committed suicide. The Chatin studied a note he had found not long ago, which briefly described the events that had happened to this man up to that point. Young man, I discovered that the owner of the body was, like him, an orphan, so he considered it sad. Inspecting the room, he found a wallet with money on the dressing table, including his identity card. The name of Paka Mundai was indicated on the citizen's registration card. The end of the registration number in the card began with the number three after which the guy noticed that the owner of the body was very young. This year, Puck turned 23 years old, although the hero, looking at the photo, initially thought that it was a high school student. Analyzing the photo on the map, the guy noticed that Puck was very sad. Of course, such reflections could no longer help the hero. However, at this moment, the guy thought that he needed to find his own body first. If they could exchange bodies in this way, then Park should now be in the body of a hero. As he opened the door, the young man thought that he needed to meet the original body before taking any action. He had planned to go home since he had fallen asleep from drinking alcohol yesterday, so the body had to be there. The hero remembered that he fell asleep in the hot weather of summer, so he did not expect to see winter outside the window. Everything was getting more confusing, so inside he was surprised that it was snowing outside the window. 
He closed the door back and thought about what to do next. The brown-haired man did not understand why it was such a time of year outside, because he clearly remembered that when he got drunk, it was July. His assumption included the theory that not only his body had changed, but the only question in his head was whether he was really alive. The fragrant soup stood on a tray and radiated steam through the air. A nice girl carried this portion around the game club. Placing it on the client's table, she repeated that it was ramen with ham and cheese. Distracted from the computer screen, the hero thanked the waitress, but the former Ryu Gonu, that is now Park Monday, decided to eat ramen with ham and cheese at a computer club near the motel. Settling comfortably in the chair, he began to eat the noodles. Brownie began to think that along with this, the possibility that Park Monday's soul was in the body of the owner disappeared, he had nothing to regret since his parents died in an accident when he was in high school and the connection with relatives was broken a long time ago, and because of the long life to prepare for the exam, the hero completely lost all remaining connections. The guy thought that even if everyone suddenly forgot someone like him, then there would be nothing strange in it. After finishing eating the noodles, the new puck thought that he didn't understand what to do next. In the computer, he saw the internet three years ago, idors and fashion were from the same time including games, movies, and web novels, were also old. He did not understand if this was normal, given that he appeared in a different body, although the situation itself seemed to him a real plot for a cliché fantasy novel. But if the hero changed his body, then how could there be something impossible in this world? Park thought about what if, in fact, this was not the past of three years ago, but another world similar to the past. He began to recall the title of a novel similar to his situation but only something about hunters came to mind. The hero's assumptions shocked him because then it meant something interesting. He recalled that in that novel there was a so-called state window that was supposed to appear. Gamers were shouting around in the hall who were outraged by the poor performance of their teammates. Realizing what was happening, the brown-haired man continued to listen to the curses of the friends of the guys who were dissatisfied with the uselessness of someone else. Embarrassed by the thought that he could get into a similar situation as in the novel, the guy thought of himself in a bad way. However, raising his head up, the guy felt the obvious presence of something. After finishing the first round, the neighbor at the table turned to his friend that he would help his friend in the next game. Suddenly, a stranger in a white hood who was sitting next to him fell from a chair in front of his monitor. Puck was frightened by the light that suddenly appeared above his place. An electric state window appeared in front of his eyes where there was no nickname and level. In addition, other indicators such as singing, dancing, appearance, talents, and features were reflected there. However, despite expectations, Park did not imagine seeing such indicators in the window. He paid special attention to the category of features, which indicated that the potential possibilities are infinite. Listing the categories in his head, he could not understand who he needed to become based on them. The young man realized that these were the stats that characterized him. A moment later, after analyzing the information, Park realized that it was the idol's stats. In the next second, the screen turned red, urging you to pay attention to the information. Information appeared on the screen that the task was called Debut or Death, according to which the hero would die if he failed to debut as an idol in the allotted time. Puck was offered a limited time to achieve his goal, otherwise he would die. The hero read it over and over again. While the brown-haired man could not understand the seriousness of the situation, someone turned to the confused guy. There was a question in the hero's head why, while the polite waitress hurried to check with the client if everything was fine with him. Unable to respond adequately, the guy hurried to run away from the club. While those present thought that the boy ran away because of shame, in fact, there were thoughts in his head of incomprehension why this information appeared in front of him, he was told that he would die if he did not debut as an idol. Park ran through the corridors trying to put his thoughts in order. The new goal that now arose in front of the boy was to become an idol. On the screen was a pretty girl who greeted the crowd in the concert hall and asked if she was ready to have fun. Reporters and fans shouted about their readiness, but the artist demanded more volume. Soap smiling, the singer was the standard of tenderness and beauty. Having caught the right frame, the photographer captured this moment in his lens, while fans confessed their love for the performer. Everyone called her Nuna and admitted that she was the best in the group.
The photographer took out his phone and opened a chat, where an order came for a photo of a celebrity at a concert. Without hesitation, the guy agreed to the question in the order. The main character in his university days earned a living by photographing idols as a photo substitute, and being in such a job, the guy went through many situations. On that day, the guy sent the shot received at the concert to the customer, who was satisfied with the result. He was distracted from the phone by a neighboring man who complained about a stampede from the back. The crowd was trying to get closer to the stage, so people began to squeeze the hero from different sides while he was thinking about how to save the camera. Once he received money from this job, he began to invest in it. Therefore, now remembering this, the hero decided to accept the conditions of the new world. The result of 50 points was shining on the screen, as well as cheering about the best results, but it was hard to believe, but Park did not understand what he was doing now. Sitting on a comfortable sofa, the hero was in karaoke and tried to sing songs. The status window was something like a mandatory element in Monster Hunter novels, which could not be excluded. It could be considered a window with information about the state of the hero and his opponents at the present time. After the song was played, the window showed that the first experience point had been earned, but Puck's window was set up for the idol. After singing the song, the hero confirmed his guess that when increasing the skill, he will receive experience points. However, in addition to points, it was also possible to complete achievements. In the background, there were quite a lot of such achievements, for example, to make ten attempts to sing and so on, thereby it was like a kind of game. Puck thought about the fact that there were really a lot of pages in the window, but all the topics were not visible, so he had to do it from the first one and then use the points he got. Opening the status window, the guy was thinking about where to spend the point. He distributed an experience point in singing, so his level improved from C to C+. Inspired by the idea, Park began to choose a new song to try again. The choice fell on a ballad, which could be sung even by a beginner. The line sounded like life is torment. For everyone it is torment, so people are equal. During the new song, Park noticed that his voice and sound had clearly changed. His singing sounded much clearer. The indicator on the karaoke screen showed a result of 80 points, which was already the best result. But it was thanks to this that the hero became sure of one thing. The first test in karaoke gave the hero an understanding of how the rules work. He realized that this whole situation was clearly serious. Although Park still didn't know what it was, all his thoughts were that he didn't want to die. The time to debut was 365 days. Time has passed starting from the day of receiving the information. The whole task sounded like he just needed to act as an idol. From such information, the brown-haired man covered his face with his hands to put his thoughts in order. He recalled that around these years there was a popular program on idol survival on television. The advertising of this program began with a question about how long the viewer will be happy and sad because of each ticket. The next slogan was the text that stocks grow as much as they buy. The Idol's joint stock company was engaged in the recruitment of participants. Advertising was broadcast on all TVs, so many were surprised that recruitment was taking place again. For many viewers, this was a surprise because in the second season of the program, the organization spent a lot of money, so everyone expected the closure of the project. In one of the beauty salons, while the girls were discussing the rash investment of money in a new project, the master announced that she had finished with a haircut. She clarified that at the request of the client, she almost did not touch the sides of the hairstyle. The client was Park Monday, who decided to change his external style to a more modern one. The guy thought to himself that he began to look a little more suitable for the existing appearance. In addition to this, healthy sleep and nutrition also removed the sad appearance. In his mind, he apologized to the owner of the body. As he spent his money, he promised to pay off the debt or do charity. Although the true Park planned his death, the hero felt sorry for him as he realized how difficult the condition of the young man was if he decided to die on his birthday. The hero left the salon thanking the master for his work. The day was sunny, despite the fact that it was winter, but in any case, he only wanted to be in the best place for Puck's soul. Looking at the sky, the guy thought about the number of things he had to do. At this time, a tense situation was taking place in the television building. The studio employee claimed that they did not have enough people, and he did not understand what to do. 
The assistant did not see anything surprising in this, because the second season was a failure, so the man asked if his team had really contacted all the academies and eateries nearby. On the table were the dossiers of the only guys who had agreed for the show. The man could not believe that they would have to extend the deadline for accepting applications or hire dummy workers for the show on a part-time basis, but he asked Soren, his second assistant, for advice. However, there was no one in the room except for the guy because Soren ran out of the building after eating her lunch. The man was not surprised because this was not the first time she had disappeared. Soren was at a local karaoke where she listened to the singing of those in the rooms. In one of the first rooms, the guy sang a rap about a difficult life that led to success. In the second, a couple of young people sang a romantic song. And when it seemed that there were no potential candidates left, the sound of a lyrical song about parting was heard along the corridor. In this sound, the girl in glasses heard the potential. Opening the room, she apologized and asked the young man for a conversation. Puck went to the door to ask who the girl was, but Soren was quick to point out that she was not to be feared. She handed the hero her personal business card, explaining that she heard the young man singing, which greatly impressed her. The assistant asked what the student's name was. Park smirked at the fact that luck itself came into his hands, and only one thought passed through his head that fortune itself came into his hands. In the recent past, there were many programs in which trainees and candidates for the role of idol were selected, where they were excluded. The largest was the Joint Stock Company of Idols. This organization was the most skillful in mixing shares and idols into one system. The directors of the first season greedily felt the taste of money, so they brazenly started the second, and the second season of the project was supposed to be promising because it was the most secret. However, scandalous articles were published on the internet about those who left this organization, after which the film crew brazenly performed with the third season, adding the phrase rebidding to the title. This caused a new wave of controversy and shouting from internet users. Such a reaction led to the fact that at the very beginning of the third season, the project again became an incomparable hit. In front of his eyes, he remembered the idol teams that were popular at the time. And for Park, who knew the future and was also up to date with all the news while selling data, this path was beneficial for becoming an idol. However, the only problem was that applications for participation were stopped one week ago. But the fact that a visit to karaoke led him to meet a representative of the Idol Search Society was an undoubted success. The guy thought that we would do it. Rumors that the castings of ordinary people were held in karaoke turned out to be true, because they were looking for participants for the first season. But if there was a shortage of participants or they were not so good looking, then according to rumors, they began to go to karaoke in the vicinity and recruit ordinary people. And it was Sori who had been doing this for a whole week. All this happened faster than the hero expected, although he pumped his singing skill to level B for the success of the case, because he could be chosen at the casting only if he stood out in some way. Accepting the business card, Park understood that for the sake of profit he should not look too interested, so he indifferently introduced himself as Park Monday. Soren was in high spirits, so she noticed the unusualness of the name and also clarified whether the guy had ever dreamed of becoming a star. Upon learning that the young man was 20 years old, the girl noted that the age was also ideal for the program and said that their office was not far from the TV station, so she offered to shoot a test video. Noticing that the guy does not understand what it is about, Soren again noted that she sees potential in the fact that he can become a star. At the same time, Park could look at the TV studio and get an interesting experience. Making the appearance of doubts, the guy thought about when to agree to the offer, so without excessive emotions, he agreed to an interview. In the Pak Munde status window, there was already the second level of the skill. In the evening, looking at it, the young man noted that the day had gone well, although the recording on the TV station turned out to be nothing special. When Park spoke about the absence of parents, he noticed how Soren's eyes sparkled because such a story can be presented qualitatively on television. Now he was expected to take up enough airtime, even if he had abilities, although this was even a plus rather than a minus. It didn't matter anymore since the hero had added his name to the list of applicants. Being in his room, the brown-haired man thought about what he would have in the future. But there was something else that haunted him.
A surprised exclamation was heard in the television company about the 10-day deadline. At the office, Soren announced that Park Monday had been selected to be a contestant on the show, and he was the last seat available, so he was lucky. The guy thought about what is usually said, that it is impossible for an ordinary person to prepare for the broadcast in 10 days without any plan. Opening a can of drink, the guy accepted the fact that there was no way back. And since everything happened like this, then he was ready to accept this. Park chose the path not of planning, but rather of using one of the extreme methods. Ten days later, a television studio became the meeting place. It was the first shooting day of the Idle Joint Stock Company. A new logo for the third season of the program appeared on the screens. The conditions of the first day were a personal assessment of the candidates, with the help of a judge's evaluation, after which the idol class will be assigned. Watching this, the guy understood that with a huge probability, the first impression of himself left here would remain with a person until the very end of the program. However, in addition to this, there was another idea in my head. Surrounded by a large number of participants, Park noted that there were 77 people in the room. However, most were very young. The hero was upset because he realized that at the age of 20, it was less likely to become an idol. The guy was distracted from his depressing thoughts by a young man who greeted him. The boy asked if Park had applied for participation alone, but he looked like a high school student. Laughing, the young man decided to clarify how old Park was. Having voiced the figure of 20 years, the hero realized that he had deceived for as many as nine years, because the soul that was in Park's body was 29 years old. The boy clarified about the presence of an agency that could stand behind the hero's back, but there was no such thing. Park explained that he had never been a member of any organization, but was an ordinary person. After this information, the guy mentally did not understand why the expression of the interlocutor's face had changed. He noticed that his sincerity immediately disappeared, and the guy rushed to leave. Park couldn't believe that even middle school students were already thinking about finding a place in the sun, as the world of television was cruel. One of the employees of the television team came out of the corner, who said that the participants could go to the assembled hall. A voice sounded that guided the crowd to the scenery, as well as urging the crowd to move faster. The hero thought that the beginning of the show had finally come, and at that moment the distribution of participants to seats in the hall began. Soren watched each one on the screen backstage. On the screen, she saw a handsome brunette who promised that he would fight with all his might, and the thought flashed through her head that she did not see a single talent from the candidates, but many of the candidates seemed good, but they were just empty shells. Only in Puck did she see someone who could dilute the atmosphere on the show. At such auditions, no matter what star producer comes, he will not be able to pull out an absolutely untalented person because the audition was a factor of fun. Most of all, Soren was afraid of bad comments from viewers about the boredom of the third season, so she could not allow it. Park Monday was invited to the stage, and the girl could no longer remember whether he was just as mediocre or not. Inside herself, Soren hoped that Park could not do anything at all, as then she would be able to attract the attention of haters. After listening to the presentation from the participant, the jury clarified whether the guy wanted to tell only about it. It was this brevity that made the impression of the candidate's unusualness, and the commission noticed that the application he submitted was also empty. A girl from the jury then offered to perform a composition. The melody of the introduction began to play in the speakers. The girl unexpectedly recognized the motif of the song. In addition, Soren herself was also surprised by the choice of composition. The song said that the hero remembered himself, whom he knew before. The jury was fascinated by the candidate's speech. Even the other candidates who sat in the audience were surprised by the song itself. The girl from the jury understood that it was easy to lose this song because of the complex rhythm, but the hero perfectly added small individual melodies to the difficult text. Serena could not believe that he had the same penalty at karaoke then. The assistant was sure that he was not so good then, otherwise he would have been interviewed in more detail. But the most important thing was the chosen song. On stage, Park continued to amaze everyone with his voice. The lyrics of the song were about the guy not wanting to forget about himself and spend every day having fun. All eyes were on him, and the only question that was on everyone's mind was why he was singing this song on stage a few days ago. Park shouted in satisfaction.
He brought his level to the fourth level and increased his singing skill to the rank of A. Puck was mentally glad that he had finally raised his singing level. After all, he spent all the points he received during these few days on singing. This was an obvious strategy, since society usually expects singers to have talent. However, among those who want to become an idol, few people want to become the main vocalist. So first, Park had to make the jury understand his indispensability in the position of the main vocalist, thereby increasing his likelihood of a debut. Sitting in his apartment, the guy was choosing a version of the song to listen to. Thinking about his weaknesses, the hero immediately crossed out all the songs where there is choreography. On the other hand, the candidate understood that songs with a complete lack of dance would not work either. He also crossed out all popular hackneyed songs, so he left only idle songs, fearing a comment that you can't sing polyphonic tracks. He crossed out all songs where more than three people sing, but continuing the selection, the hero also threw out all the songs from the last three years so as not to be compared with the original. The selection of the song was as tough as possible, so at the end there was only one song, the very song about not forgetting about themselves, about the miracle that will save everyone today. This was the song that Park performed on stage and with which he surprised everyone. Other members began to remember the song, and it was a hit of the Tekolik Song Benham group. Whispers swept through the hall about whether it was the same song. The jury also looked at each other, as they did not understand how to react. Park continued to perform the composition filigreely, using all his skill. Soren was annoyed that the member was singing this song on the project. In his mind, Puck thought that everyone was probably wondering how an ordinary guy had calculated all this and chosen this track. After finishing the performance, the young man opened his eyes to look at the reaction. He thanked those present for listening to his performance. The vocal expert admired Monday's singing and asked if the guy knew that he had coped. The hero only modestly replied that he had rehearsed diligently, that it was good to sing. However, the jury began to comment on the fresh tone of the participant, as well as the purity of the high notes. Soren stood in shock backstage and listened to the fact that this gifted member had never even taken additional vocal lessons. The screenwriter was too lazy to continue thinking about failures, so she decided to dwell on the positive side of the result. One of the jury interrupted the dialogue and asked for minutes of attention. The head of the project decided to test other talents of the participant. She noticed that almost no dancing skills were required in this performance. Therefore, she asked to show a separate dance. Park remembered the name of the girl who was the organizer of the project, Yonrin. The hero caught himself thinking that he knew her face, because in a past life she was the first idol, because of which Park learned that photos of celebrities can bring money. Footage from her performances was posted by the hero on the internet, and of course, the owner of Park's body himself also gained fame as the person who shot that video, so they both benefited, although it seemed that in a situation like this, the two of them could not stay in the black. The guy asked to wait for the commission for a few minutes. Calling the cameraman, Park explained what song he would like to play, thinking that although it was a game of chance, he wanted to try to dance. Preparing for the dance, the guy put the microphone on the platform. The girl began to watch the guy's actions in surprise. Standing in the original pose, Park commanded the start of the musical composition. The hero stood in a confident pose as he began his choreography, as he fully trusted the opinion of the jury, who could take care of his evaluation. Seat number 17 was empty, as Park had just finished speaking and a break had been called. Approaching him, Munde began to realize that this was his place now. He did not despair, and thought that by the end of the ranking he would most likely move to the 20th positions. Although, on the other hand, the guy understood that he was appreciated more generously than he expected. Another participant greeted the guy who decided to get acquainted with him. Park immediately analyzed that the interlocutor was on the 15th position in the rating and about the same age. The guys exchanged compliments on each other's performances. The guy said that he did not feel as talented as Park, which surprised the hero very much. In addition, the 15th participant said that the choice of the song was very unusual because it was a very popular song at the time. Puck began to remember again how he put down the microphone before the dance. He got back to his original position to begin with. It was a cult position at that time with a heart in my hands. The song was about popcorn that was beating like a heart. 
However, the choreography left much to be desired, which was noticed by the jury, so Park just wanted the guy to laugh. Feeling that perhaps it was not necessary to show the dance, since the lack of skill reduced the peculiarity of Park as a participant. However, the interlocutor sincerely shared that he respects Monday for his efforts, so he introduced himself as Lee Sejin and hoped for frequent meetings on the court. Park also introduced himself in response. However, Monday did not want to get close to Lee, and not only because he spoke out with criticism of his dance, because in the past he had seen Lee's name on TV. When the hero was preparing for the exams, he saw a report on the news that Lee was captured for distributing drugs. Therefore, for the best coincidences of circumstances, it was safer not to mess with him. The break was over, and the next participant was called to the stage. He was a very sweet-looking blonde man of timid character. Even other members noted that his appearance was somehow unique. The vocalist from the jury admired his appearance, comparing him to a spotted deer. Park thought that this participant looked like an artist about whom information could be sold dearly. However, the hero saw his name for the first time and did not remember him in the final group. The participant had a cute face and abilities. The presenters asked to introduce the young artist. Suddenly, the hero was able to see the window of the other person's condition, and he had high appearance and dance scores. However, the status anomaly was in low self-esteem. Adjusting the microphone, the guy was preparing to introduce himself in front of the entire audience. Clearly nervous, the hero stammered even just introducing himself. The young man's name was Song ah Yun, and even when he said his name, his whole body trembled. The participant was clearly very shy because even his age at 20 years old, he voiced timidly. The jury also noted with regret that the guy was clearly shaking. Sun burst into tears from worries and nerves, which caused the pity of the jury. However, Park began to notice that the stuttering was not caused by nerves, but possibly by speech defects. The speaker himself could focus on this, which made the stuttering stronger. Suddenly, the dream status window lit up in red, where there was information that at the moment he despised himself, which is why the stats were lowered. Now dancing, singing, and even appearance were reduced by two points. Puck thought about the fact that just one status anomaly had caused his abilities to drop significantly. However, the hero noticed that he could now look at the status windows of others at one thought. Yanrin clarified if the guy had any speech problems. Trying to say the phrase carefully, Sun shared a story about having an accident as a child, after which he found it difficult to make friends due to the fact that everyone misunderstood him. This information caused a wave of regretful sighs and comments in the hall. Park noticed that the participant clearly did not want to look pathetic, so he strives to get into television. And as a rule, you did not show any reaction at such a moment. It will be interpreted exactly the opposite. So it was necessary to observe what was happening with an unemotional face. The jury was asked to show Sun's performance. The guy immediately got up from the starting position for the dance. The music began to play, and Park began to watch the performance, noting that Sun's movements were not bad. After the dance, the hosts announced that the blonde's place would be number 18. However, given his initial stats, he showed a lot less than what he was actually capable of, but at this moment Park felt somehow strange. He couldn't believe that with such a window of fortune, the shy guy was lower in the rankings. Mundit thought about greeting his neighbor while the participants continued to be invited to the stage. Puck was supposed to speak first, but he was too lazy to start a conversation. So he decided to keep it simple and just turned towards Sun. Out of timidity, the blonde man bowed his head first in greeting. Realizing that he could not get rid of the conversation, Park saw that there was still a lot of time left before the end of the casting. The personal evaluation, which seemed to never end, finally came to an end. Because even just watching more than 70 similar performances is not the easiest thing. And after this stage, the participants went to the dormitory. After the casting, Puck's place was 22nd, and even considering that he was moved, he was incredibly lucky. The top 10 participants in the rating will ride in a dormitory in a premium limousine. The guy did not like that there was open discrimination in the program on the occupied seat, since those who were up to the 25th place also traveled on a premium bus. The dark-haired and red-haired guys were in the top 10 of the rating and were about to get into their limousine, and only their performances made the greatest impression on the audience. The red-haired guy's name was Cha Yu Jin, and he was 19 years old. 
The more gloomy guy was called Kim Levin, and he was also 19 years old, and both of these guys came from the same well-known agency and took the top spots in the rankings. Park continued to watch those who were in the top of the best from the bus window. The next participant who came out also stood out strongly at the performance. It was a former member of the national archery team, Ryu Jong-woo. He was 22 years old, and although he was the last in line, he was able to take ninth place. The hero had heard that before retiring from the sport, he had even won medals in team competitions. So he got into the debuting group in the future because of his immense popularity. The coordinator shouted about the readiness of the transport and hurried those who had not yet taken their seats. Being in his thoughts, Park assumed that if he was friends with the guys from the volume, then he could increase the chances of a debut, but he did not understand whether he needed it at this age. Sun sat timidly next to the brown-haired man. The hero did not understand why he decided to sit with him. They looked at each other in awkward silence. After thinking for a while, the hero exhaled, because the most important thing was that Lee Sejin did not sit next to him. It was not fundamentally important to him to have a neighbor, since Sun did not really talk to him, although it was only a ten-minute walk to the dormitory, but the trip was only for a few shots of the broadcast. The rest of the participants walked, although they also had personal reporters, and those who took low places had to run to the dormitory themselves. This greatly increased their irritation due to failure. From the bus window, it was a disgusting sight. The dormitory of the participants was a spacious white building with a neat courtyard. Due to the fact that all the participants were divided into five people, depending on the place occupied, Park and Lee ended up in different rooms. The room was intended for only five people. As Park walked indoors, he left his backpack on one of the bunk beds. Sleep left him to take his place on the same bed, but on the floor above. This caused some bewilderment in Park. Now the blonde man followed the hero everywhere on his heels. Dressed in the costume of the project, the heroes gathered for a general installation meeting. The neighbor's actions clearly began to irritate the brown-haired man as he thought that it looked like stalking. At one of these moments, Park stared at Sun and began to think that if he suddenly contacted him and suddenly they quarreled and he was slandered in vain, so he planned to keep his distance. Unexpectedly, the blonde offered a candy, which the hero could not refuse. Having gathered in one hall, the host began to ask for his impressions of the first stage and present a new event, namely a training session. But before that, everyone had to check their temporary position, which the guys were in as a result of performances, so with this in mind, they will be divided into classes depending on the rating. The class will change in real time when you reach a new level. While everyone was being invited in order of ranking, Puck was thinking about the fact that now a status window would really be required. A new achievement popped up on the screen because of the first performance, which announced that most people were deeply impressed after it. This notification surprised Puck. Due to achieving one goal, the hero could choose a normal trait. This was an indicator that something strange had appeared again. It was necessary to press the appropriate button, but the choice of a feature was very stressful for Puck. As soon as he began to get used to the state window, new conditions suddenly appear. He hoped that the chosen feature would not affect him in some strange way. In contact with the screen, it lit up with a bright flash. A tape measure appeared in the window, offering to spin it. It spun at breakneck speed, and the arrow was supposed to point to the feature that would fall out. Puck's heart was tense. The dropped feature sounded like the hero would sleep off after death. Not understanding what this could mean, Park was disappointed with his luck. The feature made it possible to feel absolutely awake for a week without sleep. Park realized that after the performances, rewards would be given through a probability system. He was going to think about when it would be most profitable to use this property. Due to the completed achievement, Puck now has one experience point. He has also increased his appearance score due to his hairstyle, as well as personal abilities with growth also affect the system. The mastery of dance and talents were also activated, and apparently, the stats were also influenced by the evaluation of the past performance. At that moment, the host called Park to the stage. He was offered to pick up his badge. He even has the highest badge of the vocal level and the lowest dance level. However, among the participants, there were also those who did not get a badge at all. On the internet, such people were usually called unsuitable. 
Puck sincerely thought that climbing from the very bottom was even better than climbing from the middle of the list. But if Puck had been in their place, most likely he would have thought clearly differently. He focused on one participant, because he was previously an actor and became famous for starring ten years ago in a film with ten million views, but could not move forward. And most likely, he no longer wanted to become an idol, but simply to return to television. The most important thing was that he also had the name Lee Sajin, and now it was not clear which of the two of them would be caught for drug trafficking after a while. Judging by the probability of debuting, the first person he met had more chances, and with that, the distribution of badges with the assigned levels was completed. The presenter enthusiastically announced the presentation of the main song of this season of the program. The song was called Exactly Me. Two dancers appeared on the screen, who demonstrated a guide to the movements of the song. The song and dance caused an exciting state among the audience. Everyone commented that the song was really good. Park remembered that this song would be popular until next year, which would bore everyone. So much so that even Park, who was completely immersed in exams, remembered the moments of choreography. For him, it was a familiar song with a familiar performance, so it would be a great chance to increase the time to practice dancing rather than memorizing the song. The problem was that the choreography itself began with the chorus, basically. Complex movements were at the feet, since easily repeated movements of the hands were fake and the legs were real. Many participants began to criticize their abilities, saying that they would not be able to repeat this. Pessimistic thoughts began to sound in the crowd that only those who dance well will remain for the program. It was on this night that Park decided to use the award he received for his first performance to study choreography all night. He began to do what to count calories and monitor his weight. This activation brought an unexpected side effect, which is hunger. Sun noticed this, so during one of the training sessions, he offered Park a snack. The blonde was no longer so embarrassed by his new friend. Accepting the gift gratefully, Park heard that Song had more portions. The blonde man was absolutely not against sharing his supplies. Unexpectedly, the brown-haired man asked the age of the interlocutor, which made the young man embarrassed. Upon learning that they were the same age, Park suggested switching to more informal communication. In his mind, he could not believe that he was switching to such communication with such a young man. The night passed and the next day of the project came. A coach began to train with the participants in the choreographic hall. From the crowd, a man called Puck so that the guy alone tried to repeat the movements again. However, due to low skill, the movements were unsightly. The choreographer noted that with such choreography, the next assessment could be the last on the show for Munde. Apologizing, the guy took his place, while the coach indicated that he had given the wrong level of Park's choreography at the presentation. He got up and walked out, announcing a ten-minute break. Because of the man's remark, all the participants began to pay quite negative attention to Park. But the guy understood that the man was scolding him too much. Most likely only for the broadcast, to some extent the hero assumed this. A participant who sings well and dances terribly was ideal for turning everyone's anger on him. Realizing that this scene was being filmed by reporters, Park decided that it would be better to look like he was deeply hurt by the coach's words. Because there were important feelings in the reality show, Park just had to wait for the right moment for a sudden change. Ten days passed, and it was the day to evaluate the levels, and the jury, cameras, and writers gathered in the hall. Yonrin greeted all the members of the jury. A girl from the commission noticed that there was something wrong with the idol. The appearance of the woman made her seem to be the owner of a large company. The man noticed that this was the image of the interviewer, and the woman agreed. Because today there was an important assessment, the host announced that the assessment of levels begins. Music began to play from the equipment, and the spotlights turned on their beautiful light. Exactly ten minutes before, all the participants were noisily discussing their emotions with each other. The coordinator told the participants to sit in their seats and not to stand up. On the radio, he said that the waiting room was in touch and that all the participants were in their places. The dream was very worried, so his face was red. He paid attention to Puck, who was staring intently at the ceiling. The blonde man was surprised by his imperturbable calm. However, it turned out that the hero was thinking about why there was no ceiling in the waiting room. He suggested that it was a temporary filming location. The jury was also surprised by the strange sound. The participants saw the rising walls in front of them. 
It turned out that all this time behind the wall, which was behind the backs of the jury, were all the participants of the project. The guys were at a loss when they saw their mentors in front of their eyes. As well as the jury themselves, they did not expect to see such a large venue. The presenter decided to joke about what happened. It was an updated platform for the new season of rebidding. The next stage was a public assessment of the dances. At this stage, all 77 participants who rehearsed the same song will act as spectators and appreciate each other. With the help of this assessment, it was planned to determine the current level of participants. The order was also determined by the evaluation of the participants, and it was planned to start the review in reverse order. Participant number 77, who was called to the stage, was very excited by such news. Everyone present paid attention to him, as he was in no hurry to get on stage. Park recalled that this was called a discarded move, and since a public assessment starting from the bottom of the rating deprived participants of mental stability and led to stress. Standing up, the participant admitted that he did not remember the choreography he had learned. While the other members discussed forgetting this or that move by showing fear, Park kept in mind that he shouldn't show excitement. It was a cruel and blatant way of continuing formation from the crew. Yonrin summoned the next member, and so began a series of refusals to go on stage. The jury kept calling the next contenders. They were all waiting for someone who would go through all these discarded moves and write his epic of becoming a star. Actor Lee Sajin took the stage, and after the performance, he let out his breathless breath. The jury was pleasantly surprised. Yongrin thanked him for his performance. She noted that the participant did a good job. The coach noted that the degree of completion was not too high, but they gave him high points for fully learned lyrics and dance. Due to the fact that all the participants did not go on stage in front of him, as well as the fact that he took his hands and brought the dance to the end despite the mistakes, he seemed incredible. Park began to speculate that it was possible and that it was Lee Sajin who would eventually be able to make his debut. Just in case, the hero added him to his virtual list of dangers. At this time, the host again invited the next participant, and after that, the unremarkable performances continued. The choreography coach began to think that it was getting boring. On stage, criticism of Sun's dance was given, while the choreographer realized that the boredom was due to the same track. The man noticed that Sun had both dancing skills and singing skills, but his expression caused only pity. The next participant, Park Monday, was called. Everyone began to wonder if he would be able to show something worthwhile. The choreographer understood that it was obvious that he would sing well, but he would dance badly. Because there were only ten days at the rehearsal, and in such conditions it was only possible to improve his skills a little. Park went on stage and prepared for the beginning, but the choreographer was sure of the complete failure of the participant. The hero's legs began to repeat the movements of the dance. The moment the man saw Puck's turn, he completely changed his mind. My legs were spinning in a dance, jumping to the beat of the music. Puck's face was imperturbably confident. The choreographer, obviously not expecting to see any dance, stopped yawning and began to observe the movements. He thought that during training, Although he tried to explain to the hero how to do it correctly, he failed. So the coach almost gave up. Stopping, the brown-haired man began to sing the first lines of the main song. Sun was fascinated by his friend's performance, which clearly amazed him. Lee Sajin, who was a good dancer, also watched his opponent in surprise. The vocalist from the jury was delighted with the participant and could not believe that such a result in choreography could be achieved in ten days, assuming that the participant worked hard. At this moment, the coach remembered how a couple of days ago Park could not do even the simplest movement, because of which he was severely scolded, so it was impossible to achieve such results just by making an effort. Covering his mouth with his hand, the man could not believe that during these days the young man had awakened a talent for dancing. He thought about whether it was possible. In a couple of days, Park changed the degree of completion of the dance, which was beyond the power of an ordinary person. Two days ago, the score on the status window was level D, and the guy had invested all the experience points he had accumulated in dancing, raising him three levels. The effect of the dance rising three steps was colossal. He was still standing flat on the step of the movements he was performing with difficulty, but even the feeling of getting into the beat pleased him very much. The hero's singing was great. 
and with the help of his skills, Park was able to avoid suspension in the first round. Even the coach noticed what perfectly high notes the participant had. The man thought about the fact that all ten days Monday constantly received scolding from the coach. Therefore, it was difficult for him to dance even as he did now. But the guy sang perfectly, and in the end stood in a pose with the company's trademark. Clearly out of breath, Puck thanked everyone for their attention. The trainer addressed the participant with a serious face, intending to criticize. Brown-haired man was ready for any comments. However, the man sincerely smiled and praised the guy's diligence. This was the highest praise of the entire stage, so Munde was surprised. He was gradually becoming the one who would go through all the discarded moves and write his epic of becoming a star. Park smiled sincerely and realized that this performance was an epic, because the golden rule of the show was that an unexpected twist wins. The strategy worked perfectly, as the jury was discouraged by the result. Everyone noticed that the participant did not have a single flaw in the performance, and apparently trained a lot. Puck felt as if he had stepped back from his inevitable doom. The man asked the guy what he had been doing these two days, because at the beginning of the training he could not even grasp the essence. Such a question was not surprising, so Park said that he asked a friend who was good at dancing about it. The participant replied without hesitation that it was Song ah Yun, which greatly embarrassed the blonde. It was the tactic of the so-called dust in the eyes. In fact, Sun really diligently taught Park that he even felt sorry for him. Because of this, Sun should not have had any problems, and it was good for the hero, because it was possible to cover himself well with an emotional story that did not make any sense. Yonrin also admitted that she liked Park's performance. She suggested that it could be better if he learned to dance a little more fluently. Park kept thinking about what he definitely remembered on the air, since the performance received a good rating and also a touching story. Because of this, the level of the guy could be gold. There were four main levels in this project, bronze, silver, and gold. There was also a special level of platinum, which can be defined as the one that includes not only the ability, because platinum marks those who are seen as having more potential for debuting. Meanwhile, the host asked the participants to open boxes with badges of their level. Opening his, the puck did not immediately understand what color the level was. In his box was a platinum badge. He was confused, and his reaction was picked up by many reporters. The hero did not understand why he was given the highest grade, because he had only pulled up the level to the third category. Dream, noticing his friend's confusion, saw the color of the level and was delighted. The rest of the participants in the show turned to the enthusiastic shout. The blonde was sincerely happy that his comrade had a platinum level. The young man was sincerely happy for him. Park was approached by Lee C. Jin, who also congratulated the hero, but the brown-haired man did not understand why Lee pretended to be his friend and was so friendly. Brownie remembered all the moments of the past few days when Lee Si Jin tried to be in the company of Sun and Park. Unexpectedly, the tall guy suggested that the hero's silence was caused by high excitement. However, Puck thought to himself that he was confused by information, not excited. In fact, he guessed why he had become platinum. After a sudden change in order, those at the very bottom were unable to soar sharply. And it was after a series of failures of the others that it was his performance that turned out to be quite good. Obviously, the volume of training accumulated thanks to that bonus also gave its result. Park noticed that there were few participants who received platinum. They were Cha and Kim, who were on the first two steps of the rating. And also an athlete who was in ninth place. Puck knew that he was going to get a lot of attention. The hero was very gloomy from such thoughts. Throwing away the bad mood, Park set himself up for thoughts of a debut within a year. Now he had to play to the audience so that the audience would not lose interest in his personality, since among all the platinum participants, he had the worst data, and his goal was a couple more days of training to throw a couple of experience points into singing and dancing. Up to this point, he had planned to avoid the company of well-dancing guys. Actor Lee watched Park with contempt, who got fame. And after a while, the filming of the video for the main song began. The main producer of the project greeted the participants, announcing that filming would take place now. After the first run, the participants planned to straighten their clothes and start working in front of the camera, and the guys with platinum would be filmed separately in close-up. 
This clip was supposed to appear on the TV channel next Friday, so viewers will recognize the faces of the participants from this clip. All the participants shouted in unison that they were ready to try. Puck noticed that, as he expected, all good dancers were put in the front lines, and although he was platinum, he was behind even the gold level. From the outside, he heard a question if it upset him. It was Lee Sajin who was standing next to the guy in the rankings. Park honestly replied that he was not particularly upset. The hero noticed that actor Lee had risen to the silver level. Thoughts were that both Lees could make their debut and one of them should be feared. Lee decided to clarify why Park had such an opinion of him, because it was really clear from him that he wanted screen time. However, that wasn't the point. It was just that Sajin was a good dancer. Out of his good nature, Lee noticed Park rubbing his neck and offered to give him a massage. But suddenly there was a cold question from the side about whether Park was dancing badly. This was a question from Platinum member Cha. The hero did not expect a dialogue with the first participant in the rating, since the microphones were turned off and the cameras were not filmed. So he did not understand the purpose of such a dialogue. The brown-haired man didn't feel like he wanted to hurt him. Besides, Cha's face was very familiar. It was the contestant holding the top spot in the show's rankings all season. His categories were on top, especially dance, looks, and talent. And this season, Cha Yujin was also in first place. Therefore, the film crew will treat him well, so Park decided not to treat him as an enemy. Cha admitted that he did not see the hero's dance, as he was busy with his own performance. Shayton asked to evaluate his dance next time, and Cha agreed. Lee noticed that the redhead was from overseas, so he had an unusual style of speech. At this point, the producer announced the start of filming. It was six o'clock in the morning, although they promised that filming would begin at four o'clock. And from that moment, the suffering march begins. There were many forums on the internet discussing various topics. One of the topics was a discussion of the show and its release date. Yanrin appeared on the screensaver preparing a speech for the introduction. Viewers followed the show online, so there were immediately comments about the girl's costume and her appearance. Idol turned to shareholders who also watched the broadcast, after which she asked about the past failure and the cancellation of registration on the stock exchange. In the comments, a heated dialogue immediately began about the fact that many people then lost their money. The girl did not deny that the company then turned their shares into scraps of paper. Yanrin looked up in shame and looked at the camera that was filming the live broadcast, and then shouted that the organization was really sorry that this happened. In the comments, they did not understand the reason for such a start, and someone even found it funny. The camera filmed Park, where a voiceover asked if he liked the uniform. Not expecting such attention, the guy asked again if it was about him, and answered in the affirmative. Then the correspondent asked what he liked in it specifically, and the hero described that the design combines school and work uniforms, so it will be possible to produce many different concepts in it. Suddenly, another participant climbed into the frame, who also began to answer the question, namely, that many accessories can be combined with the uniform. This guy clearly wanted to get on the airtime, while Park only wanted to remind that he was being interviewed. Further, another guy climbed from the other side of the frame, who also began to praise the uniform. People kept adding and adding, covering Puck, and in my head there were only thoughts that everyone should move away from him because it was getting very hot. Park didn't like the fact that the shape made the whole show look like an all-boys high school, but he could not say anything or be indignant. When Park woke up in his bed, he realized that it was just a bad dream, because after the first week of filming, a week of rest had passed, where Park Munda lay for three days being sick. There was a program on TV with a discussion of new musical novelties. The host smiled radiantly and praised the new track of the performer, Siobhan. Puck watched the program while he practiced. He did not expect that he would fall into the apartment with such pleasure as soon as the first filming was completed. The hero kept thinking that if he had hard days of rehearsals ahead of him, then he needed to work on the endurance of the body. The host began to discuss the new video of the survival show. While everything was presented on TV as a long-awaited event, in the chat room on the internet, most people watched with amusement the return of the joint stock company of idols. The hosts agitated viewers to invest in new promising idols, but the audience was angry that even the old slogan remained in the new season. Park noted that although there were a lot of dissatisfied people, 
Everyone watched the show. No one knew if these disgruntled people would sit with at least one share by the end of the show, because Park remembered that the third season would be successful. The projector turned on above Yonrin. Park began to watch the show with his participation on TV and suggested that maybe the organizers decided to do everything seriously this time, since they were badly scolded in the past. The guy didn't expect to see the moment when Yonrin shouted apologies to the audience. The girl announced that this time, in order to prevent misfortunes, the film crew would transfer all decision-making rights to shareholders. Yonrin urged everyone to decide everything between themselves and not to separate everything to a higher scale. Becoming more formidable, she asked if the audience did not like the participants because they could dismiss them. Park continued to read the audience's reaction to what was happening. After such a speech, most viewers decided that the organization had gone crazy. Park was also thinking about it, and from the TV it was heard that now the joint stock company of Idols is starting a new start. That night, Puck's entire table was littered with drinks and soda, and water in the kitchen was dripping from the tap as usual. However, Park did not sleep at all, but watched articles on the internet and viewers' opinions about the first performance. At this moment, the hero came across an article where the first episode of the program was described. Most of the reactions were marked with a shocking emoji. In another article, above the screenshots with the participants of the show, namely Park himself, there was an inscription that in this way the idols seemed to be shouting for viewers to invest in them. Brownhaired was upset that he did not improve his appearance from the very beginning. It was obvious that the better the appearance, the more airtime it attracted, and such a thing was so far absurd with a low appearance score. On social networks, Everyone was busy expressing their impressions of the main song and the participants. While in the chats and communities there were disgruntled shareholders who dreamed of destroying the show and the organization, the guy came across the article and was surprised that it had already posted a brief description of the season. The list consisted of participants, with their photos from the broadcast and the level. In this list, Park also saw Kim, who was the favorite of the author of the article, and Ryu, who ranked third, was a former archer. The screen stopped at one photo, which Park began to look at more closely. He saw himself, as well as the fact that they could not find information about him on the internet. Scrolling through the comments, the hero noticed that people began to write about him, and there were both negative and positive marks. The hero realized that he felt strange sensations. Perhaps it was strange to him because the audience was wasting time and money just because they were a little interested, or because the guy did not have the time and opportunity to take care of his appearance. In any case, Park became the target of many fans who bought his shares. The guy didn't know how to react to this, so he was just embarrassed. His thoughts were carried away by the idea of starting to determine the order of replenishment of stats in order to build a strategy. At that moment, the status window appeared. It showed the completion of another achievement, namely that a thousand people had already learned about it. Park now knew that even such a thing would now notify him. Having no hope of a good reward, the hero pressed the accept button. In his mind, he asked the roulette to give him something for his appearance and talent. It swirled with a bright white light. And she stopped at one of the cells. A sign popped up on the screen, which said that the reward was called a great success. And the hero was given to choose a hero trait. He noticed the silver color of the plaque. Puck immediately realized that it was something worthwhile. However, it was a reward that helped the listener to feel the singing better. There was a moment of silence and realization, and Park thought that it was difficult for him to live in such moments. The next week of the project has arrived. At the general meeting, the host with a smile asked about the rest of the guys over the past week. After a happy answer, the man again asked if the participants liked the program that was aired. Lee Sejin was answering the host's questions when he suddenly noticed movement to his right. It was Pak Munde but today he was incredibly handsome. This left Lee confused at the moment when the initial compilation of the teams was announced. The boy turned to Monday, which made him turn. He explained that the hero looks different, although perhaps it seemed so due to the fact that they did not see each other for a week. In Lee's mind, a light emanated from Park's face, as if he had begun to look more beautiful. His eyes also fell on something else. Behind Monday was Sun, who also looked cute. Lee thought that it was precisely because of Ah Hyun's presence that he had such a premonition. While Song was embarrassed and receiving compliments from Sejin, Park thought about Lee and his behavior. 
The hero was called to the stage, whom Lee hit on the shoulder in a friendly way in support. Park saw a lack of sincerity in this, although Seijin sincerely wished his comrade good luck. The guy caught himself thinking that he was overreacting to this. As Park took out his number, he thought about how about half of Lee Seijin's words were true. Brown-haired pulled out the number 12. Last night, the hero was given an achievement award that made listeners feel the words. The guy was very confused. It was quite a good skill, because if it was activated on stage, then the guy could get a lot of benefits from it. Due to the first performance, one experience point was available on the status screen. Puck decided to use it for appearance. Now the hero's appearance was level B. The host announced that all the participants drew their numbers on the balls. He announced that the names of the world's pop agencies were displayed on five monitors, so the participants could take turns according to the number next to the agency they wanted to work with. A maximum of 14 people could stand up for each agency. To his admiration, Lee Park still thought of him with suspicion. Sejin asked not to push Park higher with his ratings, to which Monday agreed. Since Puck had number 12, the guy decided to ask which agency the hero would choose. The interlocutor assumed that the brown-haired man would choose a place with good vocals or an agency where there are a lot of good hits. However, the assumption was wrong. Park did not see the point in this, because all the agencies represented wrote good songs and hits. He watched who would be on his team, as he thought it was important. Since Park had a number in the first half, he will have almost no one to look at the composition of the teams, and even now there were no people who would prepare for the debut. Suddenly, the host called the twelfth number to choose. He chose Letty's company, although he hoped to get into a team with as many high-level people as possible. Two very energetic guys who were already standing there were looking forward to Puck's arrival. They called him the new main vocalist of the band. The brown-haired man's name was Ha Iljun, and the silver-haired guy was Kwan Hee Sung, and both members had a gold level. Both were in the positions of dancers. So according to Park, they will not interfere with each other. In addition, their positive characters will charge the audience for a good impression. However, the problems began right now, because actor Lee Sejin joined the team. The guys immediately greeted the newcomer. However, with the arrival of Lee, a very tense mood began to emanate from him. With the arrival of Lee, places in their team began to be occupied by unimportant guys. And there were also those who left a lasting impression, for example, the 33rd number. It was Ah Hyun, who was at the gold level, and in addition, he also attracted attention with his appearance. They were also joined by Ryu Jong, who was the only platinum besides Park. The hero thought about the benefit that would give everyone their cooperation with each other's high levels. Suddenly, Sun noticed Park in the group he had joined himself. Putting him in an awkward position, he waved his hands happily at Puck. However, the hero considered the situation from the other side. At this moment, one of the participants with gold was about to oust a participant with silver named Choi Wongil from the team. In the neighboring agency, there was a rivalry for a place, which is why the composition began to change. Choi was very worried about his expulsion and thought that things would have been different if he had been better rated at the level. He blamed Puck for everything. The host announced that now all participants will be randomly divided into two teams to hold a one-on-one -on -one competition. The distribution of numbers drawn by the participants appeared on the screen. This was not part of Munday's plans, so he was clearly tense. Heung and Iljun were on the same team and were very happy about it. In addition, Park remained in their team, whom they again immediately appointed as the main vocalist. In order not to panic, Park wanted to check the rest of the team first. There were two gold participants in front of him. Then he walked himself. With him in the team was the tall Lee Sajin under the 62nd number, who hugged Park and rejoiced at the good composition of the team. Everyone except Park was happy to be together. Ah Hyun was approaching the group. He had the number 33, which meant that he was also part of the Munday team. The brown-haired man turned his attention to his friend. He ran up to his friend. He caught himself thinking that he was quieter and calmer next to him. Mundit noticed that the other team had already conferred about the performance, and there was a platinum Ryu in it. The last remaining number was another member that Park noticed. It was Choi Wongil, a silver-level person who had been kicked out of another agency. There was a drooping and dark atmosphere around him. Puck also realized that another guy number 15 was joining their team. It was the actor Lee Sejin, whom the hero was also wary of. 
For the hero, this alignment was like a complete lack of opportunity to make a debut. There were two extremes in their team, because half were full of enthusiasm, while the other was completely alone and silent. Mundit thought that if this continued, they would be scolded by commentators, because the footage with them would be fodder for editing. Dream distracted him from these thoughts. The blonde admitted that he considers their team members to be very good guys. They looked at each other nicely, and for Puck, it was the best comrade who could think positively. Their group began an acquaintance, which was started by Lee Sejin. He admitted that he liked the team because it had a lot of handsome guys and even the main vocalist. Haysing thought it was about him, when in fact Lee was referring to completely different people. Choi admitted that it will really be fun in this team. The more they talked, the more Puck doubted that everything would be fine. One later admitted that the formation was really good, as the majority were gold and above. In addition, there were various positions. Now it all depended on the choice of song. However, he was only bothered by two silver members who were not noted for sincerity, namely Choi and actor Lee. In contrast, Park was glad that there was Lee, Hyung, and Il Jun who could pull out the cheerful atmosphere for themselves. Tall Lee suggested that actor Lee come up with pseudonyms, as they have the same names and could be confused. For the brunette, this was unexpected, because he did not think about it. Iljun suggested two names related to the fact that one is tall and the other is a former actor, which caused Lee to laugh. However, the silver member did not feel as interested in changing his name as he liked his own. From his mood, a tense silence hung in the team. The situation was getting worse, so Park imagined a highway to the afterlife, which was now becoming absolutely accessible to him. The host distracted everyone from the discussion. The man announced the choice of songs. The monitor changed the screensaver again. The host invited Iljun to press the button to select a song in random order. He pressed the start button. The list of pop bands began to replace each other and move at great speed. The guys wanted to get a song from one of the most popular bands, namely Tiger, which was a novelty. Park heard how many bands wanted this particular band for their arrangement. The needle oscillated between the song Tiger and the next track. A team member approached the guys with a bottle of water in his hands. It was the dream that brought water for the whole group. Lee thanked the blonde because they had just started training and many were already lying exhausted. Iljun addressed the tall Lee as Gyun and asked if the contests always had songs by female pop groups. Kin replied with a smile that it was the first time he had encountered such a thing and even thought that it was a mistake. Most regretted that the arrow could not crawl to the song Tiger, but crawled to the song New World of the Girl Group. The two friends were defeated by the fact that they got a song with a fairy concept that they could not depict. Park noted that there was no point in worrying because the song had been chosen, so he studied it carefully. Kin peeped at the screen of the tablet where there was a video of this song. This is how the film crew decided to deceive the participants and complicate their task. A couple of hours ago, the members were excited about choosing a song. Instead of the expected popular male pop group, a girl group came out with the song Soft and Sweet with the concept of cute flower fairies. Gyun picked up Park's thoughts and, casting aside regrets, called on everyone to start rehearsals. The guy began to ask everyone to throw away sadness and watch all the choreography of the original. However, the rest were confused by the idea of flower fairies. According to Park, they did not share the song Tiger because it would become clear to everyone that the group could not perform such a thing qualitatively. The song Softly and Sweetly was the debut of the band from the Letty Company. She debuted before the girls became known to the public as a cute popcorn band. In this song, they showed their girlish innocence, taking the theme of flower fairies as a basis. The coach played the accompaniment on the synthesizer. The vocal teacher began to swear at the guys because they did not look like flower fairies. Looking at the shackled guys, she noticed that the song had to be sung very clearly and beautifully. However, she had heard that guys just hit the notes, and that was it. Writing down the notes on a sheet of music, she noticed that there was no faint feeling of defenselessness from their singing. She asked directly if they were ashamed to sing in this style. Park agreed with this because this team lost its way and wandered from side to side. The choreography coach also asked what the team members wanted to do in this performance. Looking at the arrangement in the sheet, the man asked who was the creator of the choreography. Gon and Hyung replied that it was done by the best dancers of the team. 
The man admitted that nothing catches the eye in the choreography, which reduces the pleasure of watching. The coach notified that the opposing team got the desired tiger and even came with the learned choreography, although at that moment Park thought that he understood why no one wanted this song, because in their team everyone is about the age of high school. The man noticed that there were also those in the lineup whose dancing skills were not so good. It was about the actor Lee Sejan. Park admitted that he could even just do it himself to learn choreography. The hero realized that it was obvious that the coaches met all this without much enthusiasm. The man turned to Song ah -yoon. He asked that since the guy specialized in modern dance, why then the expression was worse than that of Park Monday. While the choreographer was trying to morally ask the guys, Park silently scolded the man because it was Sun who came up with all the hand movements in the new dance. The man pressed that no one would feel sorry for a guy who dances worse than a vocalist. This pressed on Sun's weak mental psyche very sharply. The man ended up having the guys come back to him when deciding on the concept and ready-made ideas. As they left, the guys thanked their mentor for his comment. Iljun proposed to hold an urgent meeting. Puck realized that it was his turn to take the initiative himself. Goon was inspired and offered to choose the concept of the number first. He asked if everyone was happy with their games. Monday was the main vocal and Goon was the main dancer. Choi asked about his seat because the tone in his game was a little inappropriate. Gun didn't quite listen to the desires of others, covering it up with the fact that Choi was a vocalist and had to sing well. The guy immediately agreed to adjust as he did not want a party even higher than he had. Park watched Choi carefully. In working in groups, no one could be trusted because there were already those who wanted to give up everything just because it didn't work out a little, since Choi already wanted the part of Monday. Park agreed to swap games. Gyun was against this situation, so he immediately began to communicate with the brown-haired man. The dancer suggested that Park, as the main vocalist, helped someone who did not succeed in something and did not immediately give his entire part to a participant of a lower level. Park explained that it was not important to him, especially since Choi had problems with the altitude. Then it would be better to change as soon as possible. The guy thanked Park for this, but Mundy asked about the fact that he would take the guy's bridge then. With this statement, he surprised Choi. Park explained that since the guy did not succeed in the place he was talking about, then since the bridge is even higher, he will not be able to do it either. While Choi was trying to justify himself somehow, Park wanted to talk about the general concept. Gyun recalled that the band had previously been in a bright and upbeat style. Therefore, Kyun suggested that they should use the same feeling, namely the sight of cheerful, innocent, and full of energy young people. Heizung proposed the concept of one of the performances with effects in the rain to add a sense of the highest prime of life. Ijun remembered that Monday had just danced popcorn at the review. Gun supported the idea, which made Park realize that the guy was preparing for it. After all, it turned out that he deliberately did not listen to the wishes of the participants so that the sad members of the team would quietly follow him without expressing their opinion. The concept of energetic youth was very beneficial for the main dancer, Lisa Jin, and the guy felt that the original dance aspect would suit the dancer Song A Hyun. It was not clear whether this happened by accident or Kin calculated everything, but one thing was clear that he was not so simple. Park decided to start promoting his idea. He agreed that the idea was good. However, if something went wrong, the scene could look like a caricature. Gone thought that if they rehearsed well, there might be no problem, but Park remarked that the framework was very subjective. Choi broke into the conversation, trying to slow Monday down. He pointed out that there was not much time for arguments because it was necessary to speak very soon. With a smile, Monday admitted that he had an idea. A few days later, a competition was scheduled in front of the studio. Spectators were standing outside the building, waiting for their turn to enter. Everyone was discussing the contenders for an early debut. One of the girls was silently waiting for the passage and was less interested in what was happening. She thought about the fact that the situation with drunk driving forced her to go to work as a photographer for concerts of guys she didn't even know by sight. While everyone was lined up in two lines, the girl reached into her purse. Her bag had all the necessary equipment for filming. Lately, everyone has been saying on the internet that Team A was not promising for a debut. Although only the first speeches and profiles were published, it was still said that noise was also a sign of interest. The show began with an introductory speech by the host. 
he recorded that the rivalry of the visual voices was 27 to 1. The presenter announced that the theme was a rehash of the song of the agency that the guys wanted to join. The audience had to vote for their favorite number after the concert, and the participant who received the most votes would be given an advantage. The first theme of the third season was declared open. The photographer in the crowd was already thinking about making it all start as soon as possible. The first team to perform was the team with the concept of a basketball team. Also, a group that reflected school life performed, causing no emotions. The girl understood that the performances were of a very low level, that it was even a pity to take pictures. The next group was a team that became very popular on the internet. Platinum Cha entered the scene. He was considered a crane in a flock of chickens, as he was special. The girl admitted that he was too good as an artist for an intern. He took the central part of the performance, and for a reason, because it was the first concert and he already had fans. In a certain part of the song, Kim came out, who was also in the top of the participants. In the group, he was another of the handsome guys. The photographer noticed that both guys were very capable. After the performance, the host asked to press the button if the audience liked the performance. The girl was upset by the fact that the guys were not in the position of the main vocalists, but she continued to photograph them for sale. The girl noticed that some of the audience began to go back, as they no longer expected beautiful performances. She also thought about leaving, because she saw most of the most popular guys. The host began to announce the next performance as very hot. He announced the most popular company of idols, Vitek, which was part of the Letty Agency, whose song was taken by the guys for the performance. It was the 31st of October group. The girl looked at this situation with criticism, because the team was not popular, although they were allowed to take a song by a very popular band for a cover. The girl herself was once in a group of idols that broke up, so now she recalled that at the time when Vitek was making their first millions, her team drank alcohol and drove a car. The presenter began to hint to the audience that the main representatives of the flower fairies would now come out. While the rest of the audience did not understand what it was about, the girl began to guess. After all, the group Soft and Sweet was also from the Letty Agency. The presenter reminded the audience about the voting. The girl was going to put away the camera and step back, not even wanting to watch the performance. A red light lit up the scene, which caught her attention. Silhouettes of guys on an ominous red background appeared on the stage. The girl did not understand what was going on. Their figures became more distinct, and the audience did not even notice how long the participants had been standing on the price. A depressive melody began to play on the stage. In the center was Song Ahyun, who was dramatically covering his face. He began the first verse with words full of sadness. It was a low and very pleasant voice. The blonde man began a graceful dance. His image was fascinating and beautiful. His movements were soft and emotional, which the girl also noticed. She remembered that Song Ahyun specialized in dancing and now realized that this was true. However, she didn't understand why the scene was so dead in atmosphere. Up to this point, it was dark, and it seemed that the remix was strange. However, the song continued and the lyrics were as in the original. In the next part, the solo of Kung began, who asked to save him. The scene felt like something out of a horror movie, full of drama. The girl could not take her eyes off what was happening. In the background, she saw the silhouettes of guys who looked like ghosts. Singing along, they looked like those who looked at the audience from all sides. Suddenly, the girl was struck by the following sight. Only one guy remained on his knees on the stage. He began his part, while the girl realized that according to the concept, these were not ghosts, but people. This was the part of Lee Sejin asking the listener to extend his hand to him. Stretching out his hand himself, another palm covered it. These were the hands of Choi, who, standing behind Lee, said that they were going to another world. The girl understood the reference that the name of the team meant Halloween, the day when evil spirits stepped on Earth. She couldn't recognize the new member. A few days ago, during the first training camp, the team had an argument. Choi asked if Park had another idea, and Munded immediately suggested adding a horror film to the stage. He compared the concept to Hollywood movies. Iljun and Hee Sung were surprised by the statement. But having realized it, they began to listen to Puck's idea with delight. The guys admitted that they adore this genre, so they gladly agreed. The concept was complemented by choreography in the style of ballet, while Lee agreed that it was better than the previous idea. 
While the guys began to throw up ideas, Choi was negatively disposed to such a situation. Monday thought about the actions of Kun, who was now observing the support of another idea by the whole team. Kin was thoughtful, and the hero did not understand whether he would continue to insist on his idea or not. However, Kin's face became happy, and he expressed his readiness to support Munday's idea. Park was surprised that the leader did not care about his opinion and supported the idea of a team member. After that, teamwork went uphill. Everyone began to happily discuss the concept of the speech, except for one person. Sung A. Hyun was very depressed after all the situations of his belittlement, and the brown-haired man thought about what to do with him in a performance. The evening of the same day came. Sleep didn't look good after a lot of rehearsals. Mundit went to find out if all was well with his friend. Sun honestly admitted that he was not okay, because even the puck noticed that the guy could not concentrate. Ahyun admitted that it was not about the concept of the number. Feeling guilty, the blonde promised to try even harder. Park realized that his friend was worried about the words the coach had said earlier about Sun's abilities. Munde explained that everyone had seen Ahyun's good ability, and the coach knew it too, so he told the critic directly. The blonde still doubted whether he would be able to perform well. Park noted with confidence that it could not be otherwise. Surprised by what he heard, the blonde saw the confident face of his comrade, who explained that he had absolutely nothing to lie about in such things. This touched Sun to the depths of his soul. Once motivated, he asked what he needed to do to become even better. The brown-haired man noticed that the guy was thinking too much, so he suggested emptying his head. He only had to think about the fact that he could perform well. Sleep became thoughtful, thinking about his friend's words. This scene surprised Puck, because he did not expect that the blonde would think about this too. Suddenly, Ahyun said he agreed. The guy promised to try to change his attitude to his abilities. At that moment, the very skill that Puck could use to convince a person of his words was randomly activated. He was surprised that the reward worked at that moment. A few days ago, he got it thanks to the Wheel of Fortune. He hadn't expected that the 35% chance would work during such a normal conversation. As a result, Song Ahyun's status anomaly was inactive on stage, and he was able to perform freely. In Ahyun's status window, a willpower feature appeared, during the activation of which she compensated for one status anomaly. Watching this, Park was jealous of this feature because his status anomaly was more terrible. While at the rehearsal, he would have wanted to swear because of his emotions, but he kept himself in control. He needed to focus on the performance that awaited them. At the concert, the audience screamed with delight. The photographer understood that the team should have received the highest score for the performance, although she herself had not yet taken a single shot. She began to point the lens at Song Ahyun. Suddenly, the light changed and became brighter and warmer. All the spectators were blinded by the bright light of the spotlight. Because of this, the camera setup was messed up. However, the girl was distracted by a beautiful voice, which began to perform bridge, which distracted one from the shooting. On the stage stood Puck, who sang in his clear and strong voice. He was enveloped in a warm, bright light, creating an impression of hope, and this image struck the girl. The image was gentle, and the guy's voice asked the image of the girl to touch him. Opening his eyes, Mundi sang a part of the song where fear changes to a warm spring garden. The girl noticed in the light that everyone had traces of blood on their clothes. She realized that all the guys were vampires in the image. The moment she realized this, the strange feeling of terror disappeared. The girl realized that the characters were playing on stage, and after the climax, she had only a feeling of regret in her heart. The creatures on stage had a drama for lost love. The last lines were sung by Sun. After that, the guys got into the final pose, and then they lay symmetrically on the floor, personifying death. The light went out, signifying the end of the performance. All the spectators stood in confusion and surprise without saying a word. However, a second later, there was a realization of what I had seen, and the whole hall shouted with frantic force, and someone even began to claim that the group would be in the first place. The guys were shocked by such a reaction, and the host reminded about voting for the performance they liked. The photographer admitted to herself that she watched their performance with the most sincere interest. From the middle of the number, she completely forgot about the photos, but when she saw the performance with her own eyes, she felt exactly at the lost shots. 
The girl realized that the bridge that Park performed was very good, because many modern vocalists could not play notes even slightly worse than this level. She also appreciated the appearance of the hero, realizing that he would clearly be in trend. It was at this moment that the former idol realized that she had come to an end because she had become a fan of Park Monday. Going backstage, the participants began to hand over their microphones. Exhausted after the dance, some immediately fell to the floor, admitting that the performance was crazy. Catching his breath, Park also thought about how things weren't as bad as he thought. He did all this because he had to so as not to die. It seemed to him that after the first performance, he realized his insignificance. At this moment, shouts began to be heard from the audience for the heroes to perform again. It was a big surprise that they liked the performance so much. Hearing this, Munde caught himself in one thought. Thoughts that he liked this environment very much. Being on an emotional rise, Gyun, as a leader, thanked everyone for the work done. All team members were very motivated. Heyoung and Song also thanked the team for their work. Suddenly, Lisa Jong burst into the dialogue. He also added embarrassedly that everyone was really good. Such a confession of the most stingy participant touched everyone to the depths of their souls. Park thought about the fact that he didn't think that even Lee C. Jin would get drunk from the concert atmosphere. Suddenly, a hand tugged at Monday's neck. Gyun formed everyone into a general circle, in which he once again confirmed that their team was the best and also asked to be together next time. Park was critical of these actions because he did not understand why Gyun was making this stop. However, he later noticed the lens of the camera that was filming them. However, Mundet realized that working for the camera was also necessary to please the audience. The atmosphere from the outside really seemed very friendly. Team A was asked to go to the waiting room before the vote was announced. Resting in the room, the guys sincerely waited for the performance of their rivals with the most popular song of the season. A team of rivals led by Ryu appeared on the screen. They wore traditional Korean clothes, and the first game was started by their team leader. The guys from Team A began to enthusiastically comment on the image of the participants, comparing them with those who had already debuted. The performance was also with a synchronized general dance. Iljun noticed that the text was different from the original. Gun also noticed this, agreeing with his partner. Remembering that they were being filmed by the camera, the guy's face changed dramatically, expressing admiration for the team in their support. Some of the participants performing on stage were somewhat excited, so they looked confused. Puck thought that he had begun to understand the reason why it was better not to sing the tiger. It was dangerous to choose a song from a popular band as a song for the competition, since from that moment on, the audience compared them not with another team, but with the original. As expected, the opponents did not reach Vitek, so all viewers will now think about it. Sure, they had a platinum Ryu on their team, but having an interest in him wouldn't put too much emphasis on the overall score of the team. Park thought that their team did better. The presenter announced that the performances of the Letty agency teams were over. The man asked the leader about his assumption that the team's name was related to Halloween, as well as the image of the song. Trying to add mercy, Gyun agreed with the host's guess and reminded them that their team is as diverse in charm as 31 types of ice cream. Hinting with a look, the guy wanted to get the game on camera from other participants. Iljin was the only one who did not understand the essence of the hint and thought that everyone had agreed in advance. Team B also began their performance, and team leader Ryu spoke. He admitted that although their team lacked a lot of things, they tried. The guy asked the audience to take care of them and their place in the future. Initially, in order to survive on such a show, you had to go to any lengths, so Team A actively used their appearance. After the talk, new discussion chats were created on the sites about the October 31st group, which received excellent reviews. There were articles with an analysis of all the speeches, where the authors praised the work of the guys. At that moment, a notification came from Kin, who asked if everyone had made it home. In the chat, all members of Team A began to unsubscribe about their location. Puck was on the bus on the way home, but was reluctant to respond to the message. The active chat of the participants prevented him from following the reactions of commentators on the internet. Therefore, Mundet decided to disable chat notifications. After the performances, the results were announced, according to which Park's group won by a very large margin. Sitting in the waiting room, the guys were shocked by this outcome. 
The loudest of the participants immediately began to admire their work and hug their neighbors. Ken attracted the attention of the guys to himself. With his gaze, he focused on the opposing team so that others would also pay attention to this. In Team B, some participants could not cope with the defeat and began to cry. The guy said that this would most likely be his last performance. The leader of Team A continued his speech and suggested creating a team group chat. A little later, the guy immediately created it and added all the members of the group. An active dialogue began there, in which only Park and Song did not participate. Munde's phone began to burst with notifications, and he thought that the guys were cheerful enough. However, he was too lazy to do this, so he decided to pretend that he did not see all this. Kyun appeared behind her back, who laughed at the fact that the hero took so long to collect his things. Looking at Park, the guy admitted that his friend had done a good job for the show, and he said it sincerely. Mundit did not utter a word, for he was taken by surprise by such a statement. It was the day the guys left for home from the dormitories of the TV program. Gunn was serious in his words. He looked at his friend with a smile. Park also admitted that Sajin did a good job as a leader. The brown-haired man was also struck by this recognition. This made him embarrassed, so Gunn didn't know how to behave. Being quite friendly, the leader offered to see Park more often and be in touch. Monday left this without comment as he realized that Seijin intended to take Pak into his company and leave his agency, which he was a member of due to a lack of sympathy for its members. Until the suspicion that Gunn was a drug addict was gone, Park was not going to continue to take risks, as he immediately imagined the headlines of chats on this topic. He planned to pretend that his phone was broken in order to get out of the situation carefully and not communicate. At that moment, Sun entered the room who touched Kian with the door which frightened him. Ah Hyun shyly admitted that he also wanted to correspond with everyone. Gun was happy to get close informally with Ah Hyun as well. While Park was thinking about how to keep Sun away from this, Goon offered to make a group chat for the three of them. Having received motivation, the guy offers this chat with a peer chat. The guys immediately started creating a group and sending out invitations. Puck received a notification about the creation of a chat for one-year-olds. And while Park was confused by what was happening, there were two chats. Being at home, the brown-haired man thought that in any case, the reaction on the internet was not so bad, including the teammates were good, so it seemed to him that everything could work out. Often in such shows, it happened that many people voted because of the impression of the first combination of teams composed. The guy kept thinking about the risks of constant contact with Kung, so he intended to distance himself from him. But first, it brought up a status window. It appeared in front of his face in a second. Due to the successful performance, the window prompted the hero to choose a rare feature. The guy doubted what it could be. The window appeared immediately after the performance that day. At that moment, the audience shouted at the participants to perform again as they went backstage. Feeling his presence, Puck turned back. The status window immediately showed the availability of a rare feature to select. He couldn't believe that because of one performance, he immediately had the opportunity to choose a feature that was also rare. Remembering the past, Munde realized that before that, he had made good use of the chosen abilities. The hero hoped that this time he would get something useful. Gathering his determination, he pressed the select button. The wheel of fortune spun again with a bright light. The needle rushed from section to section. The dropped feature allowed others to pay a little more attention to Park himself. The brown-haired man did not know how to react to this. This seemed strange, since the status windows never had such vague wording. The guy began to think about not bothering and just drinking a strong drink before going to bed. However, at that moment, a notification came to the phone. It was Gun who was worried about Park's lack of messages in their group chat. The guy agitated the hero to watch the group chat as soon as possible. After leaving the dialogue, there were more than 500 unread messages on the chat line. Almost all the messages were about the impressions of the audience and reactions to the appearance of the group. Heesung sent a comment from a viewer who admired the beauty of the group members. Gyun picked up on this topic and began to ask Park what the secret of his appearance was, because every day he became more and more beautiful. The hero could not believe that because of this question, Kyun asked to read the messages as soon as possible. While the brown-haired man was thinking what to answer this, a new message came to the chat. The message was of a large size with words of great gratitude to Monday from Sun for his support during the project. 
The message continued with an offer of goodies for a friend for every taste. In the corner of the screen, Park paid attention to the time. Initially, he planned to refuse the treat, but then accepted gratitude and wished everyone to meet at the next shooting. Turning off the phone, Puck stopped thinking about anything else and just decided to go to bed. Five days had passed since that evening, and a meeting was scheduled in the company's conference room. All participants were lined up in a line. The show's coordinator announced that filming would begin after all reporters arrived. There were five days left before the first episode of the official series, and now the first official events were beginning. Park understood that in order to stand out among the participants and get reporters to take a photo of him, he needed a higher appearance indicator than he was now. However, the guy knew that he wouldn't reach level A even if he used all the experience points to do so, so he wanted the meeting to end as soon as possible. Song ah Yun, due to the absence of an anomaly of the condition, was very active in communication and offered his friend marmalade. The hero thanked him for this. Unexpectedly, Kin also asked to treat him to delicious food. Everyone else in the group condemned the guy's attempt to take the marmalade away from Ah Yun. However, the leader didn't see anything wrong with it. While the guys were deciding how much marmalade each would get, Puck thought about the fact that from the outside, they looked like children. A voice came from behind him saying that he had watched the performance. Turning around, the Puck saw Cha. Mundit could not believe that the number one in the top of the season was interested in his work. It was important for him to know why Cha was talking about something so suddenly. Due to the repeated situation after the first stage, the guy caught deja vu. Cha admitted that Team A did a very good job. With a happy smile, he offered to be in the same team next time. Out of politeness, Puck agreed, but pondered the reasons for such an offer. Looking for a catch, Puck did not understand whether Cha was thinking about anything selfish or not. The presenter announced the start of a new issue of the repeated bidding. This distracted the hero, and he realized that he needed to focus on filming. As the reporters launched the live broadcast, Munday thought that although the eras were changing, the essence of survival had always remained the same. Therefore, overcoming himself, Park was ready to go to any lengths and also shouted words of confidence in his victory to the audience on the air. It was the height of the shooting day. Girls crowded around the building who began to shout about the exit of the participants from the building. Each tried to shout out to her favorite performer. At the end, Park and Song came out. The paparazzi asked to show Monday a heart in the frame. The girls shouted poses for the photo. At the same moment, Ah Chun was also surrounded by camera flashes. Puck called out to his friend, turning to him. Brownie immediately asked his friend to do a heart-to-cheek pose for the camera in a certain direction so as not to do it alone. Ken also noticed this. He immediately ran up to his friends to get his minutes of fame in the frames. After asking the reporters for permission to join the team, the photographer showed a gesture of approval of the idea. Goon enthusiastically began to agitate the guys to strike a pose, but Park thought only that they should not look like friends. However, Sajin hugged the guys from different sides and put his hands on their shoulders. The girl thought that this trio was very strong, and she did not believe that she could take pictures of them now. The guy was afraid that all the viewers might think that they were incredibly friendly with this company. Looking at the photographer's girlfriend, he realized that her face was very familiar to him. When he was in a previous body, she was a master, often buying information from him, and the member she liked very much had recently been caught driving under the influence. Park was afraid that now she might switch to his personality. It was beneficial for them then that she took the best picture of them and uploaded all the photos to the internet before the first broadcast. The night of the same day came. There was no one in the building of the Idols Joint Stock Company, except for one team, which actively watched the broadcasts of the show. Most of the screenwriters were already dozing off from fatigue. However, Soren, drinking coffee, still continued to work. She inspected the footage for the new episode, which was supposed to be released on Friday, and thought about who to cut and who to leave on the air. However, Soren understood that they needed to give airtime to one of the participants. Saying this aloud, she woke up the men, who noticed that the girl was reeling in footage with certain participants that she thought to add to the air. The guy said that the participants were weak to make it convenient for the scriptwriters to show the plot to the audience. After listening to him, Soren decided to try to say it once. She decided to write to the producer to find out one question in a personal conversation. 
The first episode of the program was assembled in a special way and lasted two hours. A lot of gossip and false information was found on the internet about the joint stock company of Idols. Even before the airing, the company was in the spotlight, because when people learned about the release of the third season, they were negative about the producer. However, the opening part of the show hinted that the internal part of the filming of this season of the show would now be shown. Watching the episode on the internet, Park was shocked that the writers simply took comments on the internet and closed them a little for censorship. Although it was the day of the first broadcast, which was worth celebrating, all the participants had to be locked in the studio, filming interviews and monitoring the first episode, which is why Park returned home late and slept poorly, but planned to find out the reaction to the first broadcast. One of the participants who left a good impression was Choi. Throughout the evaluation time, the other members found him very cute. The audience also agreed that this participant was very liberated and sympathetic. Suddenly, Park saw a headline in the articles about a member who had become popular because of his height. According to the profile, he was number one among the participants in height, namely Lee Sejin. The authors also noted not only their tall stature, but also their large physique. All the articles praised Kin's appearance, his height, and the position of a dancer that suited him. The funniest moment of the episode was considered by the audience to be an interview with He Sung, who showed his shyness but got into the frame with Il Jun, where they hugged with excitement. The commentators supported such funny, ridiculous elements of the show. Park noted that the reaction was not bad, and the roles and time were well distributed, so the guy benefited from the popularity of his teammates as they continued to work together. The hero's attention was attracted by the headline, looking at which he thought that the article would be about Cha or Sung. However, to summarize the first episode, the author used a photo with Puck, where he shows a heart. Comments with such a comparison supported the humor. Park didn't know how to react to this, as he didn't expect the footage of his failure to be left. Even earlier, when the participants watched footage from the show, there was the same reaction from other participants, such as Seijin. The guy openly laughed about the Monday dance during the first round. Kiyun admitted that every time it was funny for him to see these shots, which will now also be aired. Park did not share the humor because at that moment he was really ashamed. Even if he did not know how to dance, he wanted to show his efforts. After that, a close-up of Yonrin's face was shown, who seemed to be displeased with the spectacle and gave up on it. Because of this, it seemed that Park was not a diligent participant, but a boy who was crazy about the group gently and sweetly. Park admitted that he was worried that when it became a meme, it could turn into a negative for him. However, the reaction was more generous. After all, usually at such shows, guys who are incapable of anything turn out to be despised by everyone. However, the comments were more than condescending. Many even tried to see efforts in the footage. Park was surprised that the reaction was better than the hero expected. But wherever he went, the main thing was to come to Seoul. Suddenly, a status window appeared. It notified the owner that a new achievement had appeared due to the fact that more than 50,000 people now knew about Park's existence. The re-auction program received official audience ratings from the very first episode. Thanks to this, a lot of people remembered the participant Park Monday. During one of the weekends, the guy was sitting in a computer club and reading articles about the show. The communities had full videos of the talent assessment of each participant, including Park. In the comments, all viewers admitted that they would support the guy. Brownie was grateful that most of the comments were good, but there were also many negative reactions. This was even more noticeable when comparing him to Cha Yujin, who had almost the same number of likes as Park, so the hero didn't know what to do in this situation. Mundit began to think about what if a participant who was very secretive at first glance suddenly turned out to be incredibly friendly. There will be a high probability that because of the image shown so far, the guy who came only because he sings well, everyone around will feel friendliness even more. The new strategy chose the path of the image of a friendly guy. The next stage for the participants was to shoot personal videos. In such videos, each of the participants will have to personally introduce themselves through the broadcast, so it was the best way to show themselves to the audience without the intervention of the producer. There were three days before filming, and for a start, it was necessary to save as much as possible the feature received earlier in roulette, according to Park. Then, in the remaining time, he planned to find something better. Three days later, 
A meeting was scheduled in the conference hall of the project's dormitory. The host asked about the readiness of the children for new challenges. The participants were very charged and loudly declared their readiness. A timer of 15 minutes appeared on the screen. The host announced that the search for treasure had begun, and the whole crowd fled in different directions. Ten minutes ago, Gyun and Iljun greeted Pak in a cute manner. The hero did not understand what had happened to them, but they explained that Moon Day was the main character of the first broadcast. The guys assured that the friend was popular from the first episode, admitting that Park had both a sense of humor and talent. Gyun thought that the hero did not respond to messages in the general chat, just because he felt like a superstar, and at that moment Park moved closer to Ah Yun. The guys began to push each other until there were cameras pointed at them. At that moment, the presenter came on stage. Goon called out to Iljun, reminding him that filming had begun. A man on stage began to tell the participants about this, which was ahead of them. It was a stage with its own online broadcast. On the same day, at 8 o'clock in the evening, a broadcast was supposed to be broadcast through a global channel on the internet. The host emphasized that all participants would be able to meet with their fans. During this information, all the participants were quite tense and listened attentively, except for Cha, who was dozing. However, everything was not so simple, and in order for the broadcast to take place, the man said that there would be a special mission only for the third season. In the broadcast, the participants had to present various products produced by T1. The man asked not to be upset that it would be an advertisement, because things could complement the charm of the participants in the video. To distribute goods among the participants, a certain competition will be held. It was a treasure hunt in a limited time of 15 minutes. This was the background of the incident, during which a group of more than 70 guys ran abruptly. The guy had to find treasure balls in various parts of the dormitory and then return to the common room. Puck wasn't going to run after the crowd. He went in the opposite direction. There was a door right next to the stage. The back door opened onto the utility backyard of the dormitory. Opening the door, the hero realized that he was alone here. However, Iljun appeared from behind him and offered to go together. The guys were joined by Gyun, who was surprised that there were no people in such a place. Sejin praised Iljun for the idea of following Munde. As the unexpected guests discussed how he sung and Ah Yun had been swept away by the crowd, Park thought about how infuriated he was that they were being taken care of. Puck suggested that we go to the pantry as soon as possible because other guys could come up soon. So they began to search for treasure at a rapid speed. The first ball was found by Iljun, which was silver in color. Park and Gun were also looking for items in various inventories and now understood what the treasure should look like. After exchanging glances with Puck, the guy began to guess the essence of the game. Another place where the participants were engaged in searches was the canteen. There the guys found a golden ball. As the heroes thought, all the balls differ in levels for bronze, silver, and gold. Puck claimed that the place had been examined, so he suggested that he go up to the storage room with the equipment, as he had seen a camera there. As he found more and more items, Puck noticed that the two guys were quite useful. They had quick hands, and they played their roles well. Spending more and more time together, Park remembered that during rehearsals, they also did not cause inconvenience. As a result, the guys found both bronze, silver, and gold balls, so they planned to distribute them. Iljun suggested that everyone take one ball of a different color. Since Park allowed him to be in his company, the guys planned to give him two gold balls as a sign of gratitude. In his defense, Munde said that he would not take bronze balls, so he gave them to his comrades. A signal rang out on the speakers that there were 200 seconds left before the end of the stage. Gathering in the common room, all the participants shared what each of them got in the ball. Opening the balls, the puck thought that two gold ones would be better than a few strange ones. The lid of the balloon was open. However, what he saw inside caused a sea of unpleasant emotions in the guy. The man announced that there were about a hundred seconds left before the end of the competition. Mundit still couldn't understand what he needed to prepare for. Inside the first ball was written the word guitar. In a panic, the hero began to open the second ball. The second word was also not Puck's style, as it was a flower crown. The guy did not know how to play the guitar, and he still did not have a suitable appearance for a wreath. Park presented a title with a video where there would be an announcement that an ugly guy was pretending to be handsome, so Park considered it a useless show. He began to look for someone he knew to exchange balls. 
Sejin was busy at this moment, as he was the center of attention of the other guys due to the large number of balls. Mundit realized that he did not have enough time to make his way through the crowd. Running his eyes over all the participants, Puck did not understand where to look for someone who could change with him. Suddenly, he noticed a drooping son who opened his bronze ball. Ah Hyun came across frozen fast food. The host announced a five-second readiness, and Park realized that he didn't like the word that Song got either. The brown-haired man called out to his friend. He asked if Sun liked guitars. The blonde replied that he also knew how to play them. Replying that he also liked flowers, Park handed his balls to Sun. He showed the words that he got and offered to change. This surprised ah Yun very much because the suggested words suited him very well. At the last second, the guys exchanged their treasures. Holding both balls in his hands, Sun was at a loss because everything happened quickly enough. The host called everyone to the stage to record the results. The products that Park now got were a great fit for him, so he thought with a smile that this was a perfect exchange. Although the hero was afraid that he would be criticized for giving away his two gold balls in exchange for one bronze one. The day before the shooting, a post was released on the internet with information that there would be a broadcast. Ten minutes before the broadcast, many viewers reacted negatively to the post about the broadcast, expressing the opinion that no one would watch it. Other authors were looking forward to certain participants, for example, Kim, who was expected on the stream. The main trending tags included those related to the show and its new season. Commentators also discussed the fact that participants will be forced to advertise certain products. Viewer chats were created, where it was discussed who would go to which broadcast first. Exactly at 8 o'clock in the evening, the broadcasts were launched. A separate video broadcast for each member of the group was simultaneously posted on the internet channel. Comments immediately began to speed up. Viewers transmitted information that the broadcasts had begun. There were also those who were very negative about the quality of the connection or the order of the video. Cha's broadcast was about 7,000 people, and in it he talked about the game console and why he chose it. Lee Sejin communicated with the audience on the topic of poetry, read them poems, and many people liked it very much. Ryu imagined himself through sports and showed an exercise for the legs. Ah Hyun wore a wreath with bunny ears and he was going to play the guitar, so the audience was in awe of him. The broadcasts of the participants were discussed on the internet, and the audience realized that the comments of the participants were not visible. Kim also made a splash, who began to compose a song of his authorship on the air. In addition, broadcasts with a low rating were also discussed, in which participants could accidentally swear or did not show anything. Commentators also actively discussed the talents of Ryu Jung, who was considered by many to be empty and without any features. Strong criticism of the show remained on forums and in chat rooms. Everyone noticed that the platform was going down a lot, due to overstrain in the number of broadcasts, but users considered the content not interesting. Suddenly, a message appeared in the chat that one of the participants was eating on camera. Park was holding a piece of chicken from the fast food industry in his hand. No one could believe that the participant would just eat in a video presentation of himself. Commentators discussed the dish that Park was going to try, so they wished him good luck because it was spicy. Mundit announced that he would start a PR campaign after eating, which aroused the frenzied interest and indignation of the audience. Rumors quickly spread and everyone began to discuss that Park had made a mock ban. Viewers noted that the guy was not as easy as it might seem because it was with him that interesting situations happened. There was even an article with pictures from the broadcast where Park advertises a package of quickly cooked chicken feet. The author of the article noted that so far the participant has talked only about food and the taste of paws throughout the broadcast. Comments saw something kind and funny in this broadcast. Views began to actively increase to 6,000 as people loved to watch Mock Ban. Commentators were delighted with Puck's noodle-eating technique. In the reverse screen on the laptop, Puck saw only his reflection. The hero thought that it was time to take out the secret weapon, and a triangular kimpap appeared on his hand. The brown-haired man notified that he would now eat it with chicken feet. The audience went crazy with delight. Placing a chicken foot on top of the kimpap, Park took a bite. The number of viewers reached 10,000 although even professional bloggers found it difficult to gather such an audience on a live broadcast. Park decided to thank the audience for his presence on his broadcast. 
However, unexpectedly, the broadcast time ran out. The guy told the audience about the end of time and asked to put likes, thanks to which the first 33 people will be able to get five minutes of extra time. The comments took off at an incredible speed, with viewers asking everyone to like and someone asking the member to keep eating. However, not knowing how many likes were put, Park decided to say goodbye to everyone in advance. Viewers were given five minutes of extra airtime, which they were happy about. An inscription opened on the prompter, which notified the puck that he had five minutes added due to being included in the 33 best broadcasts. According to the requirements, Park had to pretend that the results were supposed to come to him on the phone, so he began to check it. Mundit said that from that moment on, viewers could sponsor him as a participant in the show. If the sponsorship amount is more than 10,001, it will be shown to the Paku on the screen, and the Sami funds will go to charity. Commentators were not going to invest money in this, but Park said that he was finishing eating. The first user sent the first amount of money with a question to Park about why he chose chicken feet. The brown hat thanked the user and explained that the word he got for the ad was frozen food. While the Park was explaining his food preferences, commentators discussed how the broadcast was similar to an ordinary mock ban. The next user sent money asking why Park hadn't advertised himself yet. The guy began to answer the question. However, at this second, questions poured in from users on various topics from who Park is friends with on the show to his taste in food. In the studio, only a notification with the sound of coins was heard because a huge number of questions piled up on Park. Kyun was engaged in the production of an improvisational dance in his broadcast. He also added an additional five minutes of airtime. All of Kung's fans admired his talent. One of the viewers transferred money to him with a question about who he had befriended on the show. The guy honestly replied that he liked to communicate with everyone. Visibly tired, Kyun began to take off his sweatshirt, and this action immediately began to be discussed by commentators. He honestly admitted that he could not choose one person, because he wanted to be friends with everyone. To the same question, Sun replied with a happy smile that his friend was Munde. However, when he came to his senses, he began to talk more formally about the other participant. The blonde also spoke about the group chat that they created with their group. His viewers noticed that the guy looked very naive and happy, which hooked many. The same question came to Park's broadcast. He didn't understand why people cared so much about other people's relationships. The guy immediately began to think that just giving a name would not be a good answer, because not only is there a possibility of showing even more interest in this, but he will also have to share the image of another person. He tried to avoid this question so as not to tell in advance about what had not yet been on the air. Passing by the question about friendship, Puck replied that he likes any food. He said that he chose kimpap because he loves rice, and also because usually the taste of sauce is pronounced in the food of this company. The participant was very interested in the audience who wanted to hear his singing and not the analysis of food. One of the users threw off money with a request to perform part of any song. The second asked me to tell me more about myself, and the third asked to sing a well-known song. Park finished his food reading these comments. The guy seemed to remember the essence of the broadcast and began to take off his gloves preparing for singing. From the next room, the rest of the participants began to listen to Munda's song. The audience was immediately surprised and began to guess what kind of song it was. Many were surprised by the level of his singing, describing him as a pro. Suddenly, one of the spectators threw off the money with the comment that Park sings well. Keeping his image, the participant continued to sing. However, in the middle of the performance, a timer went off, which showed that there were 30 seconds left. He told the audience about it. Everyone began to ask the guy to finish the song. An inscription appeared on the computer, which asked to say goodbye to the audience, which Park began to do. Turning the film to questions to which he did not answer, Munde began to talk about himself. However, the video download stopped working. The live broadcast was over in time. Commentators were unhappy with this ending as they did not learn anything about the participant. At the same time, it was this simplicity of the broadcast that captivated many viewers. People compared Park to a kind and simple guy. Opinions about him were extremely different. Someone saw him on the air from the other side, as a nice guy, and someone did not like what he only ate. The headlines of the articles about the broadcasts only talked about Moondead and his broadcast. 
Many began to compare the puck with a puppy from the video, which was fed chicken feet, so brown-haired again became a common meme. Looking at this, the hero was not very happy with the result. He threw the phone aside, asking the void about where he looked like this puppy. He knew that there was no one on the list of questions that he would be able to answer, as he did not know about the true Pac Munde's past. Stretching out the time of the broadcast with a song, the guy was able to win over the audience. However, he did not like the joke about Moon the dog. The hero suddenly began to remember the past, in which after the death of his parents, he was not in a position to choose food. He didn't even have the opportunity to leave food. He ate whatever was given to him, but now he was being praised for how well he ate. Given his growing popularity, Munde realized that the editing of the second episode, which he was shown, was also not bad in the episodes with him. Staff took good care of Park and edited the assessment of his level, where the footage indicated the growth of the brown-haired skill. It looked like he got platinum because he deserved it. The subtitles praised Park's perfectly shown choreography, as well as how he received the platinum badge. On the air, he was shown as an ordinary person born with talent and going his own way, and in an interview, the guy replied that this motivates him to try to do more. However, the hero was worried about only one thing, and that was how the writers continued to push Park Monday. Because of the live broadcast, he now had the image of a dog, and although there was more talk about the dog than about Puck, he still could not relax. It was the writers and cameramen who actually knew the whole story of Park, and that it was a little different than on the air. Suddenly, the guy's phone vibrated. It was a message from Gyun who suggested getting together next week with their group to watch the third episode of the show. The guy did not think that there was such an urgent need for this. And while the guy was typing a message with a refusal, the leader of the group began to press on his conscience that it would not be good if only Munde could not come. The hero was surprised that all the members of the group had already supported this idea. After all, this could lead to new discussions on the internet, where Park would be condemned for catching the star and cutting ties with the team. Therefore, he sent a message to Kin that he agreed and would come. A week has passed since this dialogue. The door of the room was opened by a radiant dream who greeted Munde. Entering Ah Hyun's apartment, Park appreciated that it was large. Kin greeted him from the sofa. Sitting on it, as if at home, the guy began to tell where everything was in Sun's house. Sajin offered to order food and even hinted to the blonde man to treat them all as the owner, while Park thought only about watching the third episode and going home. 